Hello, we're the Banja Luka project team. And today we're gonna show you how we did our local history project. The first thing that you can do is get to know the people that you're working with. Then, you have to collect basic information to get into the gist of the project. First, we got to know each other through various ice-breaking games in order to create a pleasant working atmosphere. An important step during the beginning of the project is understanding the general context of the project and period of time you'll be working on. We gather some materials like personal biographies, laws and propaganda of the time, and general historical events in order to create a timeline, which we later use as a base for further research. Now that you're done with the basics, you can visit local sources of information and gather as much information as you can. We talked to a local historian who is familiar with our topic and asked as many questions as we could in order to get a fuller picture. We found an exhibition dealing with the situation of the local Jewish community prior to and after the war. Documenting most shocking parts later helped us to determine the most important ideas of our project. Once you explored your local sources, you should try broadening your field of view by exploring the sites outside your city. We went to Shargo at Sendrakulic where we visited the Jura Yakšić Elementary School where a massacre of the children took place. Uh, in the memory of the students of this school that were killed during the Second World War. Then we visited St. George Church, which was built in memory of the Ustasha massacre of Serbs on February 7, 1942. The largest one-day massacre where more than 2,000 civilians were killed, including 551 children. We also had the opportunity to read the names of the victims which are listed inside the church. Our advice for anyone looking to follow our footsteps would be to explore your surrounding area as much as you can, since that is the place you are most familiar with. Now, try to explore the biggest regional memorial site, even if it is located in another country. We boarded a bus to Croatia, wanting to explore the sites up north. First and most important was the Jasenovac Memorial Site. Upon arrival we took the trail to the monument, which symbolizes the journey of the prisoners to their death. We returned to the Memorial Museum where we extracted information from the museum, discovering shocking and unheard things. Next was the Roma Memorial site in Ustica. Here, the custodian revealed to us information about the situation of the Roma people.
we were glad their deaths are being honored. Our last visit was the mass burial site in Donja Gradina. There we explored mass graves and saw the tools used for torture. The Ustasha killers in Jasenovac also, they did experiments regarding uh, soap production from human remains of the enslaved prisoners. During the trip back home, we took into heaviness these sights had left upon us. Now that you finished your research process, it is time to show your findings to an audience. This is the most open part of your work and it is completely up to you and to your imagination. First, find out who your target audience is. Whether it is your classmates and teachers, members of history groups, or maybe even the local general public. Once you know this, you can decide what the best medium is to present your research. In our case, we chose a multimedia exhibition that was set up at our local cultural center. We made large panels with images and texts, as well as prepared a recital of a letter of one of the victims of Yasinovac concentration camp, and a short film we made from videos found online. Your presentation can be something similar to this, or something completely different, of course, and how you make it happen is completely up to you.